today's video I will show you how to configure inter VLAN routing on a multi-layer switch. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified for the Cisco exams. If you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and share it on your Facebook page and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I will gladly answer you back. On my Facebook page, I created a group where I posted all of my labs there. The name of the group CCNA Free Practice Labs Walkthrough. You need to install Packet Tracer. I posted a video to show you step by step how to download and install Packet Tracer, either in English or Arabic. See my video channel or my group on Facebook and please follow through. On the description of this video, you will find two files, one for the packet tracer source files and the documents to walk you through the labs step by step until you finally will be able to verify the configurations you did during this lab. Now, our subject for today is about inter-VLAN routing. So what is inter-VLAN routing? Inter-VLAN routing can be defined as a way to forward traffic between different VLAN by implementing a router in the network. The user nodes in the VLANs forward traffic to the router which then forwards the traffic to the destination network regardless of the VLAN configured on the switch. As the single broadcast domain is divided into multiple broadcast domains, routers or layer 3 switches are used for intercommunication between the different VLANs. The process of intercommunication of the different VLANs is known as inter-VLAN routing. Now in this topology diagram we have the multi-layer switch which I will name it shortly as SW1 or switch 1 connecting two PCs as you can see here PCA and PCB. I already configured the IP addresses on the two PCs PCA and PCB here. On PCA if I click on the icon here and on the desktop tab and then on a click here on IP configuration you can see that I configured statically the IP address for PCA and the same for PCB click on the desktop here and IP configuration this is the IP address configuration for PCB I have PCA connected to the port F010 as you can see here and PCB is connected on the port of F020. PCA is configured as I showed you with the IP address of 172.16.10.10 and with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and PCB is configured with the IP address of 172.16.20.20 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 the two PCs are in two different networks and later on I will configure each one in a different VLAN but now the way how they are configured right now if I try to ping from PCA PCB what's gonna be the result so here on the command prompt I will type ping 172.16.20.20 and this should fail. I will cancel it because it's gonna take a time simply by clicking control on the keyboard with the C and this will cancel it. Now in today's video I will show you how to configure those PCs and how to make them able to communicate and ping each other. Now I will give a name to our switch here. Simply I'll type enable here and from the global configuration configure terminal host name I will give it as always in my videos as W1 and I will get out from here and then I will run this command show VLAN brief. As you can see here if I expand this a little bit that we have here uh, all the ports on the switch belong to the default VLAN which is VLAN 1. 
Now I will create two VLANs. So this tells us when I run this command show VLAN brief that we have only the default VLAN which is VLAN 1. But now I will configure two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on the switch from the global configuration mode with the command configure terminal. Simply type VLAN 10 and then VLAN 20. Now I'll get out from here and then show VLAN a brief just to have a look at make sure that the VLANs we configured are there and as you can see here we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now I will run also this command because if you notice in this topology diagram that we have switch 1 connecting PCA on the port of F010 and PCB is connected to the switch on port F020. So on the switch I will run this command, show me the interface of F010 switch port. Here, it's showing us here, as you can see, that the access mode, VLAN, and it's in a VLAN uh, 1 by default. And I will run this command for the other port of show me the interface on F0 a 20 switch port and here is telling us the same that also port 20 is an access in access mode for VLAN 1 here by default all what I did is in this topology diagram we have the switch or the multi-layer switch we have two PCs uh, PCA and PCB PCA is configured uh, connected to the switch via port F010 and PCB is connected to the multi-layer switch on uh, F020. Now I will configure the port of F010 as an access port in VLAN 10 and the port of F0 uh, F0 slash 20 on as an access port in VLAN 20. Here on the switch from the global configura configuration mode uh, simply type for the port of F010 switch port mode access the switch port we want it to be access switch port access for VLAN 10 and the other interface of F0 slash 20 the same switch port mode access and this is switch port access for VLAN 20 so Simply what I did, I'll explain more. This, this port here on F010, which is connecting PCA to the switch, I configured it on VLAN 10. And the other port, which is connecting PCB, is as an access port VLAN 20. I will run this command on the switch. Earlier, when I ran the command show interface of F020, or F010 it showed us that, that by default they are in VLAN 1 but now I'll run the command again I'll get out from here show interface for F0 slash 10 switch port before it was an access port in VLAN 1 which is by default but now it's gonna show us different because we configured it in VLAN 10 as you can see here and the same with uh, the other port uh, show interface F020 switch port this is for VLAN 20 as you can see here in this table now I will run this command also show VLAN brief now before we have when we just configured the two VLANs VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and they were still uh, active but without configuring any port connect uh, a combined or for the VLAN here VLAN 10 or VLAN 20 but now we configure the port of F010 as an access port for VLAN 10 and the port of F020 or F0 slash 20 in VLAN 20. Now uh, we have this the multi-layer switch as a layer 3 device but by default Routing is not configured on this switch, unlike if you are using GNS3 or an actual router or actual MLS uh, multi-layer switch. 
routing will be configured by default, but with packet tracer it is not. So now if I type the command show IP route, it's not configured. In order to enable routing, we need to do run this command. Now uh, configure terminal IP routing. Simply type this command and I'll get out from here and then run the command again show IP route and now IP routing is enabled on the multi-layer switch. Now I will enable inter VLAN routing. I will configure the IP addresses to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. As you can see here on the topology VLAN uh, 10 with this IP address a switched virtual interface for this VLAN. So on the switch simply we will run this command. Uh, before I do this, even though after I did this configuration and configured the ports here F010 and F020, F010 to VLAN 10 and F020 to VLAN 20, can we ping between or run the ping between PCA or PCB or can PCA ping PCB? Let's try again with the upper uh, key on your keyboard and then hit enter. This will not be successful until we configure the SBIs for the VLANs on the switch for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So back to the switch here I will run this command configure terminal from the global configuration mode now I will enable the enter VLAN routing I will configure the IP addresses to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 now as for VLAN 10 simply type this command enter VLAN 10 and this is with the IP address of 172.16.10.1.1 24 subnet mask uh, 172.16.10.1.255.255.255.0 and enable this with a no shot command and as for VLAN 20 this is with the IP address of 172.16.20.1 slash 24 subnet mask and enable this with a no shot command. Now I will run this command show IP interface brief this is gonna show us here for VLAN 10 uh, for VLAN 1 it is unassigned and it is this is our default VLAN but for VLAN 20 uh, 10 we configured it with this IP address and the status is up and the protocol here as you can see if I expand this here the status is up and the protocol is up and the same with VLAN 20. Now if I type also this command show VLAN brief this is showing us that VLAN 10 is configured here and the status is active and the ports with for VLAN 10 on VF0 slash 10 and for VLAN 20 with F0 slash 20. Now, if I try to ping from PCA to PCB before, we weren't able to. So from PCA with the upper arrow on your keyboard and then hit enter. And this should be successful. And I'll try to ping from PCB to PCA. And from the command prompt, ping. 172.16.10.10 and this is also is successful. Now the two PCs in two different VLANs are able to communicate. This is a simple example how to configure enter VLAN. I hope you learned something from this uh, video. Please if you have any suggestions, comments or something you didn't understand please don't hesitate to communicate me via an email or a text message uh, a comment i will gladly answer you back thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon in my next video have a nice day